Hello, my name is Gary Velasco, and this is my presentation on imagery. So what is imagery when it comes to sports psychology? I'm pretty sure many of us has heard about imagery when it comes to literature, so this may be the first time we hear about it in the context of sports psychology. Imagery is a mental technique that some athletes and coach implement in order to enhance performance in athletes. The technique involves envisioning a goal or movement mentally. What are the benefits of using imagery in athletes? Imagery is the activation of the imagination to create or recreate a full sensory experience of a previous or upcoming event. When an athlete imagines, she or he uses the full complement of her imagination in a manner specifically designed to enhance her performance. Essentially, by rehearsing the strategy, they are learning new skills, managing anxieties, building confidence, and optimizing activation levels. So essentially, as a whole, by using imagery with athletes, they're able to visualize the end product or end movement or end strategy that they have to perform. By envisioning it and running through essentially a simulation of the goal or the movement, they're able to gain confidence in knowing the movement. Oftentimes when athletes fail, it's going to be due to anxiety about not completing the movement correctly or having some sort of doubt about what's the next sequence that's to come. By envisioning the sequence. This allows the athlete to gain confidence, thus handling their anxiety level, helping them build confidence, and optimizing the activation level. Meaning, since they've gone through the movement so many times in their heads, they don't really have to spend the mental energy trying to think about the movement. How to get better at imagery. Practice makes it perfect. Imagery is a skill, and practicing will allow for a higher quality experience as well. Quality over quantity. Imagery is a mental skill, it is best to begin your imagery training by imagining high quality images for short periods of time and gradually increasing the time you spend imagining. Set the scene and then plan your imagery. Plan the context of your imagery to meet your current needs. So essentially, practice makes perfect. You wanna make sure that you're practicing the imagery skills in order to get better at it. Just like with any skill set, you must practice in order to improve in it. Quality over quantity. If you're constantly just trying to imagine things just for the sake of imagining, you're not going to get the most out of imagery because imagery is all about incorporating all the, sense, all the senses in your body in order to make the experience as vivid as possible. And by ensuring that you're having a vivid imaginary experience, it ensures that the athlete is more prepared for the scenario. Set the scene. You want to also make sure that the scene makes sense. So if you're trying to do imagery work, I probably wouldn't do it at like a very loud public venue. You want to make sure that you're in a place that you're calm, collective, and you feel safe. Then plan your imagery to meet the context of your needs. Meaning that if you're trying to do a solo event, you will probably be imagining what you're doing and not what your opponents are doing. If you're doing a team event, you'll probably be imagining not only what you're doing yourself, but also what your partners are doing as well. As for the discussion questions, first one is how can imagery possibly hinder athletic performance? Meaning that sometimes we may have the athlete imagine the sequence done correctly. What if that, rather than building confidence, instills doubt for the same reason that they are now afraid of performing the movement incorrectly? The second discussion question that would imagery, would improving your imagery skills affect your coping mechanism when it comes to outside relationships? Meaning that in terms of athletic performance, imagery is a great skill set to have. However, is it possible that by trying to master imagery, you end up trying to use it for every aspect of your life? Meaning that if you're on a date with someone and you imagine it a certain way, it may affect how you may react with that person. And then here are my sources. Thank you.